Twilight, a series that we all know and we all love. But I don't fucking know anything about it. I know that there's vampires and witches and Kristen Stewart. The reason that I'm reading the Twilight books at 20 years old for the first time is because I... No idea. For the past few years, I've had this weird, it's been like a subliminal parasite in the back of my brain where like, I know with every part of my being that these aren't for me. I'm not gonna like these, but there's this subliminal parasite and she's going, you need to read the Twilight Saga. And I say, why, why, why? <laughs> and then it actually stole my daughter and it's holding her ransom right now somewhere. I don't know. And I got a note in the mail the other day Said, once you finish the Twilight Saga, then I'll give you your daughter back. So now I'm reading the Twilight books and I thought I would make a video about it because I really just want to document my experience, I guess. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm not gonna like them. At the same time, I think I might love them. Uh, at the same time, I'm not gonna like them. I'm gonna, gonna fucking, fucking scream, scream like, like I'm, I'm dumb tight. Today is the next day. I'm currently on like page 260. So like just over the halfway mark. There's good things and there's bad things. Let's start with the bad. It feels like it is a first draft that she had to hand in to her eighth grade English teacher for a creative writing unit. It also feels like, you know how authors before they write a book, they'll do like extensive planning. It just seems like she would just write. No planning, just writing and seeing where the story would go. The characters are unbelievably unrealistic. The way that they respond and react makes zero fucking sense. Like how Edward is literally saying to Bella, I'm a vampire, like I'm very fucking dangerous and I shouldn't be left alone with you because I'm going to kill you. And she's just like, Okay, like you're fucking hot though, dude. Like <laughs> you're fucking sexy. <laughs> Which like, yes, it's a book about fucking vampires and werewolves. But even just like the characteristics of this human being Bella doesn't make any sense. I just read a part where she went into like town and she started getting kind of chased down by these four large men who I think think they were planning on hurting her. And then in her mind, instead of being like, Oh, I should run. She's like, No, I'm gonna fight. There was like two men coming towards her from this side of the street and two men from behind her. I think most people would have been like, Oh, how about instead of trying to fight these four large men, I'll just like run in between or like around these guys. But right before she could really land a good sucker punch on one of these men, Edward pulls up and saves her. And then Edward asks, her if she was planning to fight these men and she says this is a real piece of dialogue she says to him i fall down a lot when i run so you would rather fight four large men than attempt running because when you run, you sometimes fall down. I don't get her at all. Although despite what I have just said, I'm not hating this. I'm having a good time with it. Here's what it is. In order to read this book and enjoy it, you need to think about it as satire. Just the very premise of vampires going to high school. That is fucking hilarious and so insanely chaotic. I want to read to page 300 tonight and then hopefully i want to finish this book tomorrow then i can move right into the second one <laughs> okay so um i just found out that there's actually four twilight books I thought that it ended with Eclipse and then Midnight Sun came out and that was the fourth but no Breaking Dawn is the last one <laughs> Stephanie, not one to back down from a challenge. What is good, guys? Happy Monday, November 1st. Here, let me, uh, here, hold this. Oh, garbage on the road. It's me. It's me because I'm literally trash. <laughs> I have like 150 pages left of Twilight. I read like 40 pages this morning and I literally closed the book and went. <sighs> so I thought what I would do is go to the Twilight Forest just to kind of, I guess, re-energize my excitement. Heading there now. I've got shit running down my legs. <laughs>
Okay, so, oh my god, this feels like a, like a suicide note video. It's not, it's not, this is not okay. So, I'm here, as you can see, I'm in the twilight forest. I come here so fucking much, but I feel like I'm here as like a fan. I should probably get going. I need to get back home and finish the first twilight book. <laughs> I finished the first Twilight, and then today, I started New Moon. I'm, like, over halfway through. <sighs> okay, so, my thoughts on Twilight, the first one, ooh, wow, like, no good. It just seems incredibly immature, which I get, because it's for, you know, immature people. But at the same time, you can make a book for immature people that isn't bad. And this is a book for immature people that's just bad. The ending was so fucking random. Them. I had no idea what was going on. Just out of nowhere, boom, these evil vampires that I think were mentioned like twice by Alice show up while they're playing baseball. And then they decide that they're going to kill Bella. And then Bella, they take her to Phoenix. But so far, how I'm feeling about New Moon, honestly, it is an improvement to the first one. I feel like the main thing is with the pacing. The pacing is better. It sucks shit, but it's keeping my attention to a point. Like, I'm like, okay, I guess let's see what this fucking idiot does next. Here's what's going on. Edward and the Collins just got up and left. They said bye. No, they didn't even say bye. Edward said bye. And everyone else just kind of left Bella and said, fuck you. I'm at the point where she just figured out that Jacob is a werewolf. And I have a feeling that the story is about to go really downhill from here. Because these 300 pages that I've sat here for the past couple hours reading, it was just a story about two teenagers who were kind of developing a relationship. And Jacob, I really liked him. He so far has been a good character, although now that he's turned into a werewolf, he's giving me Edward vibes of the whole being kind of a dickhead, and these very just like corny and cheesy things that he's saying and doing, but now, from what I understand, he is sexy, but he's a dick. He sucks now, just like Edward. So, Bella, what the fuck are you doing, girl? I might finish this. If I don't, I'll just finish it tomorrow. Why the fuck they're going- Hello? Why the fuck are they going to Italy? Why the fuck are they going to Italy? It's like Stephanie came to a spot and said, Hey, how can I veer this train completely off the tracks and just do something fucking nuts? Alice has arrived, Edward's sister, because Bella went clip jumping and Alice got a vision of her doing this and thought that she was committing suicide. So she came to check on Bella. Um. I'm sorry, I'm like getting- this is, thing is ruining my life. So then, um, Edward has come to the decision that he must die because, uh, he believes that Bella died. And as we learned in the first book, one of the only things that can kill a vampire is the Volturi. So now, Bella and Alice are on a plane that's gonna take them to Italy, where they're gonna go, it, um, find Edward in Italy. Is this not, like, exactly what happened in the first one, but instead of Bella going to Phoenix, now it's Edward- <sighs> Going to Italy? Italy, like that. It went from Forks, Washington, to Italy, like that. Um, so I'm gonna finish this tonight. I'll start my clips tomorrow, or... I might need some time. <laughs> I cheated. Last night, I was planning on finishing New Moon, and then, as you saw, I was a little bit worked up. I just kind of wanted to know what happened, so I just read a summary for the last, like, 150 pages. I read most of it, but I just could not take it anymore. It really sucked for me, you know, it was really hard for me, because I was actually liking it. And then they decided to go to Italy out of nowhere. And where we are at now, Edward has agreed to turn Bella into a vampire after she gets her GED, and they get married straight out of high school, which is what all the best couples from small towns do. But Jacob has promised that if they do turn her into a vampire, they are going to start a war with them. So this morning, I started Eclipse. And so far, I'm not hating it. I pray that they just stay in forks and let it progress a bit more naturally. But right now, I think I'm gonna go for a run and then hopefully I'll be back pretty soon. And then I can get a decent chunk of this red today. I can't wait for this to be done. <laughs> Ooh, 
with thick. <gasps> 750 pages. Okay. It's the next day, and I've just finished reading Eclipse. I am slightly ashamed to say I really liked this one. So much better than the first one, and way better than the second one. This still definitely was not good, but it wasn't bad. The plot progressed in a natural way. The characters were, I feel like, a little bit more rational. They never hopped on a random fucking plane and went somewhere insane and ridiculous for no reason. There was one chapter called Switzerland. Switzerland. They didn't go to Switzerland. Thank God. I was terrified. But basically, what happened in this, there was an army of newborn vampires in Seattle killing a whole bunch of people. Up until the last moment, we don't know if it's the Volturi doing it or if it's Victoria, who was trying to kill Bella because Edward killed James, who was Victoria's partner. They came to Forks, and the vampires and the werewolves teamed up to protect Bella, and they won. Edward killed Victoria, and all the newborn vampires were murdered, while Bella just kind of sat in a tent. And then it ended with this kind of like weird love triangle going on. Bella kissed Jacob, and then Edward knew that Bella kissed Jacob, but he was like, it's fine. Now, at this point in time, I'm team me. The first one, I was team Edward because I didn't know Jacob. New Moon, team Jacob. But now, I really don't know. Because for the majority of this, I thought I was team Jacob. And then as Bella continued to act up, I became team Edward again, solely for the fact that I don't think Bella is good enough for Jacob. I think Jacob deserves a lot better. So now I don't know. So I'm gonna start <sighs> Breaking Dawn soon. And I'm so excited. Can't wait. Breaking Dawn, Twilight. I love it. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe that this Hello? was a real thing that I experienced. It feels like it was the most nightmarish fever dream in the entire world. I'll give you my thoughts on the final conclusion in the Twilight Saga, and then I'll give my thoughts on the series as a whole. My review of Breaking Dawn, ooh, like so bad. So it went from Bella married, Bella pregnant, Bella growing a monster in her stomach, Bella having this monster who she names Renesme, and then Edward turns Bella into a vampire. And then Jacob imprints on Renesme, which I have a lot of thoughts on. And then the Volturi find out about Renesme and come to destroy her. And then the big epic conclusion to this four book series is a conversation in the middle of a field. So the last, like, 80 pages of the book is the Volturi and the Cullens meeting in a field because the Cullens want to show the Volturi that Bella and Edward's daughter isn't a threat. But the Volturi have come to basically make up any excuse to eradicate the Cullens. So then there's this conversation in the field, basically between Carlisle and Aro and Caius. And Caius and Aro, they keep on trying to figure out something to make this fight happen. But the Cullens didn't really do anything wrong. It seemed to me like Steph Stephanie wanted this fight to happen. So she would start writing why this fight happens, but then she would realize, oh no, I can't do that because before I said this and that contradicts this, so I need to figure something else out. But I'll just keep this part, okay? Writing down a different reason why this fight happens. Oh no, I can't say that because that contradicts something else I said. Okay, let me go back, but I'm just gonna keep everything I wrote. And she'd go, okay, this fight is gonna, oh no, I can't. Okay, the fight's gonna happen, no, no never mind. Okay, the fight is about to, uh, oh no, never mind. And they have this 50 page long conversation in the field trying to make this fight happen but then finally stephanie just gave up and said okay never mind book's done huh you what? Basically what happened was Alice just showed up with somebody who was the same as Resume, being half mortal, half immortal, and um, the Volturi just left. And Edward, Bella, and Jacob and Resume all lived happily ever after. Speaking of Jacob and Resume, what the f why was it necessary for Stephanie to create the fact that the werewolves imprint a lot of the times on babies? Oh, no! If you don't know what imprinting is, it's basically like a werewolf will meet someone and that is their person, that is their mate, that is their everything. And sometimes these full grown men imprint on babies. But Stephanie tries to do this thing where she makes it like a cute, wholesome thing. The werewolf and the child develop like a friendship and then when they grow up that's when they get together and she tries to make this like a wholesome thing 
I could not believe it. When did this become a fucking Woody Allen documentary? What the hell? Everything that happened was so fucking messy, made no sense, none of it was cohesive, and I fucking hated it. So yeah, that is my review of Breaking Down, the fourth and final installment of the Twilight Song. Now, let me just talk about what my thoughts on the whole thing was. Look at that. What I've realized about this, it says something from Time Magazine. People do not want to just read Meyer's books, they want to climb inside them and live there. And I've realized that that is the appeal of these books. You want to love Twilight. You need to, I guess, have a shitty life. No, I'm just kidding. I think you need to picture yourself as Bella. And as a 20 year old male human being, I don't want to picture myself as Bella, but I can imagine why a 14 year old girl would want to picture herself as Bella. I think that these fictional characters and this fictional world would be a very appealing place for a 14 year old to go and kind of live out their own fantasies. It's just so messy. There's so much that makes no sense. Why these hundred year old vampires would choose to be going to high school. They don't need to be doing that. It seems like everybody just makes decisions for no reason. They have no motive, which is very important for characters. They need motive, but all of them are just doing shit just to do shit. <laughs> it's just to push the plot forward. I'm so fucking glad it's over. So unbelievably happy to never ever have to read about Edward and Beth again unless who knows maybe I, i'll read midnight sun <laughs> and to the twi wait what are they all called twi hearts i love y'all this is no shade this is no hate i fully understand why you like these books and even i think the twi hearts y'all know it's bad let's be real i'm so grateful for this experience i feel like i learned so much um and I hope this inspired you to pick up Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. It's got everything. Vampires, werewolves, bestiality, and grooming. It's awesome. Find it at your nearest thrift store bargain bin today. Okay, uh, I think it's time for me to go. Um.